Okay. I guess he's a bird man flying over the world while it's melting. There you go. What's up, everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're an indie artist looking for an album review and some promo, you can hit up Luke at redmattersite.com. And what I have for you boys and girls today is a quick review for Young Thug's latest album, I'm Up, which was going to be called Slime Season 3, but then he went on Twitter and said that he was on his Kanye West shit, so he switched it up at the last minute. Now, I'm the first person to admit I am not a big Young Thug fan at all. When Barter 6 came out, I thought it was one of the worst things that I had ever heard in my damn life. Mostly because of that screechy, auto-tune style that he has going on, but I did think the production was dope, and he gets a lot of production from great producers, guys like London on the track, Mike Will made it, etc. So, he usually comes through with some tight beats on his projects, and I did like a couple of his songs over the past year or so. So, I've actually come to understand the whole Young Thug thing a little bit, and one of my favorite songs by him, just to throw it out there, is Hey I off of Slime Season 2. I just like that more smooth and melodic style that he had going on there. And for the most part, this project is basically just the same shit that you're always going to get from Young Thug. So if you hate him, I don't expect this to make you a fan, and if you're a fan, you'll probably still be a fan of this one right here. And actually, I could just rate this one a Young Thug out of 5, just like I did with Future's last project when I said it was a Future out of 5, because that's exactly what this shit is. You're going to get some nice production, like some wavy, smooth production on the song King Troop, which is a dedication to King Troop, who died back in December. And there's some really nice jangly production on the song For My People, where he goes back and forth with Duke on the last verse. So those two beats were really dope to me, but the content on both of them wasn't overly fascinating, and the content through Throughout this whole album isn't overly fascinating as you might have expected. You're just going to get a lot of braggy lines and also some funny lines like on For My People when he says that he likes pussy that has no germs in it and I don't think you really got to say that because that goes without saying unless you're a real nasty ass. And even on the song Fuck Cancer where he had an opportunity to actually talk about cancer a little bit and how it affects people and whatever. He doesn't really go into any depth at all, but I still appreciate that he made that as a track to Boosie and his battle with cancer. It also has a really dope beat that kind of reminds me of some old Manny Fresh, so it's an alright track, but it was a little bit misleading. I don't expect him to be a goddamn rocket scientist or a brain surgeon, but he could have said something about cancer, like I already said, you know? People have been affected by this disease for a long time, it's awful, it's horrible, but instead, you know, he wants to spit about how pussy is soaking wet money, lean, etc. Just the same old shit, so I guess it is what it is, and I'm a fool for expecting anything more. And other than that, this is pretty much just an album of typical shit, man. It's just a bunch of bangers with Young Thug doing his screechy, wailing type of thing, so I give it a 2.5 out of 5. If you like Young Thug, you'll like this. If you don't, I doubt it's going to make you a fan. And as far as the features on this one go, they're not overly memorable either. On the song Family, he got his sisters Dora and Dolly on there, which was kind of cool. I mean, they're not really good, but it was cool that he brought his family onto that song, since it's obviously called Family. And the song My Boys features this guy named Rollo, who I had never heard of before, but I thought he was Young Thug, man. He sounds just like him, except possibly even screechier and even crazier than how Young Thug sounds. So I thought that was an interesting point, I guess. But lastly, Young Butta had the best feature on this, if you ask me. I thought he killed the song Breadwinners, and I found it kind of ironic, because he actually reminds me a little bit of Kevin Gates, how he raps, and Breadwinners is Kevin Gates' brand, so that was kind of different. But anyway, that's what I thought about this one. You guys check it out for yourself if you want to. Let me know what you think about it, and make sure you do all that good YouTube and social media stuff, man, or you like my videos, you share them, you follow me on Twitter, you retweet the videos, and you especially subscribe to my channel, Thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.